Hello, I hope that you are doing very well. And if you know me well, you knew this video was coming. Oh, I really truly hope that you have a gigantic smile on your face right now, a big smile and just feel happy as we celebrate in this video together. It's a feel good video. So just enjoy, 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 enjoy together because we, us together have done it. What might you be thinking? Well, in this video, I'm going to obviously talk about the achievement. I want to talk about the important traits within inside this, how being driven and competitive is advantageous and the mindset, the mindset needed to be a champion. I feel this is already going to be a, a brilliant video. And uh, of course, we obviously, the super team, the coaches, myself, we have led you essentially to the victory and special shout out of course to the people inside our team the members because it is essentially together you me us together we have done it what have we done you might be thinking well i'm sure many of you already know uh but we have obviously placed first in the latest worldwide trading competition which officially now ranks us as the number one trading team in the world this is a big achievement uh, it feels obviously very very good um, and yeah, this is a video to talk you through some of the, 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 you know, the really focal trades within this. And then I want to talk about the mindset as well. Um, so yeah, first of all, just congratulations, I suppose. Yeah. To everybody, we fought hard and we done it. We done it team. And that feels good. Number one in the world right now. And, um, I want to, first of all, I suppose, talk about the mindset that's needed. If you have followed me over the over the years, I think you will definitely know by now, I am highly competitive. When I do something, I want to be the best, period. Yeah. And this is this was emphasized greatly. Well, I think this was day two of the competition back on uh, the 15th of December. Day two of the competition. We obviously started off straight into the straight into the, the game. Very fast paced. We, you know, shot to first place within the first day of the competition. And uh, my words at the time was, yeah, we make money on our shorts, we make money on our longs. Um, but the main thing here is, I was saying already, for me, second place is the first last place. It's all or nothing. E.g., you can see my mindset straight away is, if we finish second in this competition, for me, it's a failure. And I've talked about this before, where some people are like, oh, you should be proud of finishing second. Uh, it's a good achievement. Um, yeah, I understand this. I understand these people's point of views. But for me, when I do something, I, will, I want to be number one. And I'm very happy to say that we obviously achieved number one. Oh, yeah, by the way, I suppose I'll mention this as well. Everybody within our team, um, by, by the time I release this video, you really should have received your payouts. So obviously, everybody within the team receives a payout of the prize fund money and the top 10, is that, you know, the people that place the top 10 in the team naturally are going to receive a higher percentage than everybody else because they're the people that, <laughs> you know, affected the p &L percentage points. Myself, I did place in the top 10. Um, but yeah, I hope <laughs> that's just to, to make you all aware that that prize fund would definitely will have been paid out by the time this video is uploaded obviously this is all controlled by the exchange hosts not not myself by the way to payouts but uh yeah that's uh, obviously an extra bonus we all received money from winning this competition but it's not about the money for me it's more about hey i just wanted to have <laughs> i just wanted to be able to make a video like this uh <laughs> it feels good yeah it's the celebration it's the it's the uh acknowledgement and it's like you put in the hard work and then to get the rewards Madre mia, it's, it's, it feels really, really, really good. And how do you get to this like champion mindset? I refer to this champion mindset. It's so much in trading. I tell you this, yeah. If you want to be a good trader, you ha I, I truly feel that you have to have, uh, you have to be really, really driven. You have to want to like succeed. You cannot be like this kind of lazy. Oh, I might do this, might do that. No, you, you need to have a goal. You have to write it down and you have to do everything possible to achieve that goal. Period. Yeah. And if you are not totally driven, uh, I think that's just say it would be a lot more difficult. Myself being a highly competitive person, I know trading is competitive. Yeah. At the end of the day, for every winner, we can say for every winner, there's a loser, essentially. So if you want to be in the winning team, you need to work harder than everybody else. Yeah? You do not win by accident. We do not win consistently. Yeah. It's the consistency in this game. If you want to win consistently, you have to outperform everybody else essentially, or at least 50% of the other people. One winner, one loser. Outperform, the, outperform 50% and you're on the winning team, I suppose. But if you want to come number one in a competition such as this, which is a highly competitive arena, it falls down to, you know, putting in putting in that extra one hour of work above everybody else, for example. Just going the extra mile, so to speak. And uh, in my opinion, it all started with that mindset of, yeah, 
second place is a failure. I want to win this. And obviously then it's putting in the work every day until you win it. We did start very well in that competition, but we did slip down, uh, you know, in the following days to around third place. And actually, right up until the very end, we, we were in second place. And I remember this extremely well. One day before, we were about 40% behind the team that actually did finish second. Yeah, so we were on around a, a, a hundred and... We all must have been on around 100 and about 100%, which is obviously still good per se, but it wasn't enough to win. And this is where, this is the winning trade and this is the one which changed, really flipped the tables around. And I remember this one really, really, really well because, oh my God, you I'm sure you've heard about this trade enough by now, to be honest with you. But this is the one, why was it so special? Because obviously it was a brilliant short, but also it was the short trade that so many chart champions took that won us the competition. And it was that short, well, obviously it was helpful longing up to that level in the first place, but it was then obviously that swing failure pattern from $52,000. Yeah, myself, the team, we were ready and waiting for that swing failure pattern. And once we took that level, obviously we're taking short positions. Other people in that competition, by the way, their PNL was going down as price was dropping, e.g. they were longing up here, whereas we were shorting. And this is what flipped the tables to secure that first place. So I think as like, as I suppose like the leader or captain of the team to have presented that trade to my team in time and then to have seen many people have taken the trade that I have presented, which secured us the winning place. Well, if you have ever been a leader or a captain of a team, then you know that that's even more special. Yeah, it's good to participate, uh, but to, to, to lead that team to victory, um, it adds something. It's like the cherry on top. It good, feels good to be in the winning team, but to have led it like feels even more special. Um, so, yeah, I was extremely, extremely proud of that call because... Yeah, it, it secured us the competition, to be honest, uh, as well as obviously a few of the other members within inside the team that have done extremely well. I'm talking about very high percentage gains, uh, you know, shout out to, to them, of course. Um, but yeah, overall, this was, yeah, this was our video to be happy. I'm still struggling with COVID, so I cannot get too excited. I need to keep my heart rate down. But if I could, you know, I'd be running around the house right now. <laughs> but overall, yeah, I just wanted to say, Congratulations to absolutely everybody with inside our team. Well done, well done, well done. Uh, it was obviously a joint collective effort from everybody, from the from the members to the coaches to everybody in the team. It was a collective effort. It's a team competition. And obviously it feels good as always to say, hey, chart champions number one. People can uh, people can debate, people can say whatever they want, but at the end of the day, it's the results. Love us or hate us. It's the results that count. You are here. You follow us because we consistently, <laughs> we consistently win trades. That's why you're here to learn from the best. And now we're in right in front of you. Officially, the results are we are the best. <laughs> there's no, there's absolutely no doubting or debating because the results are here. And there we go. That feels very good. Champions League secured. Looking forward to the next one. And uh, obviously, yeah, CC Pool. CC Pool, send their regards. Thank you ever so much. Smash that like if you were in our winning team. And make sure you secure your spot for the next one so we can continue this winning streak. Trophy after trophy after trophy. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I love you. And uh, yeah, congratulations to the best team in the world. Boom. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye.